Hey guys, it's John Buck here at Maximizing Life. Yeah, I was having a conversation with a friend of mine at the gym, and they were telling me about this goal that they had, this dream, this vision that they had for something that they really wanted to do. And they were telling me how they felt like it was a purpose in their life. Like it was kind of a passion. It was something they were called to do. And when I asked them about what they were doing about it, that's when they began to tell me about how the timing wasn't quite right. They didn't feel like it was the right time, that the circumstances within their life wasn't giving them way to do this. And it brought back to mind some valuable lessons that I've learned over the years from a lot of very powerful people. And basically that is that there are two kinds of people in the world. There are those that spend their life waiting to feel like it's the right time to start. And then there are those that need to start knowing that when they do, that they will begin to feel the process which will fuel their progress. And here's the truth. The first one, the one that's waiting for that perfect time or they want to feel like it's the right time, they will never begin the process because the perfect time won't ever come. You see, your mind has a way. It will always create excuses or reasons if that makes you feel better to convince yourself to remain exactly where you are. Status quo is always more comfortable than actually making a shift and making a change. But the other one, the one that needs to take action in order to feel like they're progressing forward, they will see growth and progress almost immediately because they have overruled their mind's excuses. And many times, that movement and that progress is in a better direction than they originally thought it would be in the beginning. So, if you're going to ask yourself a question today, what kind of person are you? Are you always waiting for that right time to do something? Or are you willing to just do something knowing that it will create the right time? There's never a better time to start anything than right now. And I tell everybody this, it's simple, small, tiny little movements forward that end up with big results at the end. So if you've got something in your head, uh, something you want to do, maybe it's just you want to lose 30 pounds or 10 pounds, or maybe you want to write a book, maybe you want to open that business, and you're waiting for that right time to come around, keep in mind, the right time will not ever come. There's never a perfect time to do something, aside from right now. So do something today. Make a promise to yourself that today you're going to do something, even if it's just Googling information about it. Do something today. Don't be that person that allows your mind to take over and create excuses of why you're not doing something. Quit waiting for that perfect time or that perfect situation. It will never come. And be that person that stands up, takes action, knowing that when they take action, it will create the timing and the place. And chances are, what you have in mind now is not nearly as big or as good as what will actually come about. All right, guys, so if you've liked anything that you've heard here and if it benefited you in any way, I promise you it'll benefit somebody that you know on your social media as well. So while I want your likes and I really need your comments, I ultimately want you to share this out on your social media. It will benefit more people that way if it benefited you. If you haven't done it already, go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube channel. That way you can see all the new videos coming out. But I also encourage you to go to my website. It's johnrbuck.com, and when you go there, subscribe to the site, and that way you'll get updates for all the new blog posts, all the articles, all the podcasts, and the videos that are coming out here. And if you will subscribe to that website, I'm going to send you a free digital download of one of my books called The One Hour Happy Challenge. I know that's going to bless your life. So, until we talk again, I want you to go out there. I want you to make a difference in someone's life. You be the blessing. I'll see you.